Well, having just finished the second dream, I bet you're wondering what has changed. Well, for starters... They'll have plenty of robotics. Corpus never fight for themselves. Uh, that's gonna be a thing now. I now have a new person to talk to me, alongside Lotus. And can I get this out of the way? He reminds me of Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars. Let's go on the offensive. Hold them off. I'll check on Rex and Echo. But of course, that's not it. Once this circle thingy fills up, frame fill goes. Take a nap, Excalibur. I will do the Iron Man floaty Unibeam thing. And hey, let's get this straight. This ain't no weak Unibeam. This thing's stronger than the one from Fortnite. But now, on to the actual video. One fateful afternoon, I checked my mailbox only to find that I'd be given another gift. Uh, have I ever wondered what it'd be like if every mission were an Arcwing mission? What are you talking about? What? I wasn't preparing for this. What? Uh, what? 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 Ordis has been counting stars. What? Shut up, Ordis. What are y'all doing to me? I, I haven't even checked out this fool yet. Bruh. Already haven't. Spin, 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 spin. But don't worry, I shall soon make every mission into an Arc Wing mission. Now I just need to find a reason to use Limbo. How about I present a problem? Take a look. Limbo shall soon solve this problem. But before we even get to him, I thought this was funny. He blinded me. Not for long, though. What is my commentary? I will play as Limbo. You know, if someone named Limbo, I don't think Bro could get very low without falling over. Now, Limbo's utility does not start when you press 1. Oh no. By simply dashing, you go into Limbo. And upon first inspection, this place kind of stinks. You can't interact with anything. You can't damage anyone, you can't break any barrels, and you can't open any lockers. Yet, at the same time, nothing can interact with you. You won't get damaged by bullets. I mean, they will see you, but they can't hurt you. You won't get hit by laser grids, huh, huh? So, yeah, you're invincible. But I, I still can't kill people. And since I can't kill people, I can't complete this mission. What's wrong, man? Well, I guess I'm stuck here. I'll just go play Satisfactory or something. That game's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, wait, I can just dash to leave. Okay, never mind. We're back in business. So to recap, you may not hurt enemies if they are in the regular world and you're in the limbo world. Now, here's the thing. If you are in the regular world, limbo's first ability will send the enemy to the Limbo world. Which by then going into the Limbo world, you can fight them one on one while nobody else can do anything about it. When enemies are in the Limbo world in general, you usually have much more control over them. Because remember, as long as no one is in the Limbo world, you're invincible. That means you can still restore health as well. Like, no one can damage you. But they can still hurt your feelings. But I do have a few problems with his first ability. 
You see, if you're in the limbo world, you can't just pull enemies into the world and damage them. Like, that's to balance it. You could just solo the whole level without taking any damage at that point, if you can do that. But it's still annoying to go back to the regular world, shoot them into the limbo world, then go back into the limbo world, and then kill them. There's too many steps for what feels like not a good payoff. But that's just the intentional game design issues I have. Because when I went back in to record all this, the first ability wasn't working. It just decided that like 95% of all the enemies just couldn't be teleported. Now, we have stasis. I think it's pretty simple. Any enemy that's in the other dimension gets frozen. Aha! Can I send you to uh, Rift World real quick? Now my guy is in stasis. Now, this is pretty fun. I don't really have any problems with this at all. Like, like this watch. Let's go. I'm out of here. Tenor, be on the lookout for increased security measures. This actually works really great with uh, an ability I'll be talking about later. Now on to the weird one. Think, why well, is the weird ability usually three? Anyways, I don't understand it. It could be the weakest ability in the game. It could be stinking, I don't know, make everyone eat Jolly Ranchers and they take two damage. I don't know. It could be the strongest ability in the world. I just don't know how to use it. It could cause freaking nuclear fallout. And I wouldn't know. Alright, now on to the fun one. Ability number four. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You shoot a mega danger zone orb of death. It sends every enemy, including yourself, into the limbo world. You can do whatever you want to them. You can kill them normal, get a ton of energy. You can press two and make yourself into one of those Sonic slow motion sequences from the Sonic movie. You know, like the, like the bar fight slow. scene. Or you could use three. Nah. Oh, but it's not over. By pressing 4 again, you can close the Mega Danger Zone to make a Giga Explosion. Using this ability and pressing 2 is probably my favorite thing to do as Limbo. But, it's actually tied with something else. I'm gonna be honest. So far, Limbo has been my least favorite Warframe. And I feel like if I started the game with Limbo, I don't think I'd still be playing. But the one thing keeping Limbo out of, like, the I hate you zone is the utility. It's nice on boss fights when you don't want to worry about dodging attacks. Just wait for your health to recharge and get back into it. Heck, if everyone's shooting at you, just go into the other world, you're all good. Just take a nap, wake up, and kill them later. But my real favorite thing to do is to skip through all the laser grids on the Corpus missions. Huh, it's not parkour I have to do. Nope, just walk through it. Those lasers can't see you. So I don't hate Limbo, but Limbo is still my least favorite. Or maybe I just don't understand Limbo. I'll probably title this video, Noobs Don't Understand Limbo, to keep myself out of hot water. So, should I have used the Warframe slot on Limbo? Well, of course. I want to use all of them. Heck, I was still able to first try this weird Dark Souls boss. Okay, this boss is actually really cool. It's the first boss that actually felt like a boss. But what was I talking about? Oh right, Limbo. Like, why is he even called Limbo? With that tall head, he'd, like, make the pole fall over instantly. Wait, what? You mean the Limbo from the Catholic Church? Okay, that makes more sense.
Oh, uh, by the way, if you're watching this on release, I'm currently on a super long trip, so there won't be another video anytime soon. My bad. See ya.